today's an exciting day. I've come down to the ocean and there's a bunch of other van lifers here. The box truck and the step van that you've seen before. Maybe I'll get to show you around. It's meetup day, yay! This gives me parts of the Caribbean vibes. Like, I love it, <laughs> yes. in a good way, yeah. What? Look at this giant bed. Oh, don't fall, you high. <laughs> um, we thought we would talk about box trucks and step bands. Hi, Hi everybody, we're out and about. Um, I nearly forgot to film this, but I'm in the process of changing the van's registration from a commercial van to an RV. It's tricky, it's technical, and the first job is to get the van weighed. So, good news, the vehicle weighs 4,000 and 40 kilograms. Don't ask me to convert that to pounds, because I can't. Um, it's not that I can't, I don't want to. You can do it yourself. Um, and so I have now booked it into a garage uh, next Wednesday to get my vehicle inspection done. And it's really interesting to know that uh, both of them wanted to know the weight because, um, and also the ferries often will want the weight too, because a commercial vehicle weight is from five, 5,500 kilogra kilograms and the garage wanted to make sure it was under 11,000 kilograms in order to do the vehicle inspection so it's very curious that these weights matter so yes I have a heavy van but it's not as heavy as it could be and I'm very happy that I can still get my inspection done yay <laughs> We're in the forest again, yay! Oh, it feels so good to be out and about in the trees, wandering. Some part of my nervous system that just needs to breathe. I spent the day trying to figure out whether or not my vehicle was gonna get an inspection. And because my indicators don't work, I need a new starter relay and what's the third thing? Oh, my windscreen's got a crack in it. So because of all of those things, there's kind of no point in getting an inspection because I thought the inspection for converting an RV to a motorhome was just one inspection, but it seems like they just do a vehicle inspection as a total whole thing and then if there's anything wrong with the motor or the engine or anything else it's all part of the same thing so i'm gonna I, I am gonna clarify this and double check with somebody else it was so stressful and i got my bike serviced and got new back brakes on my bike at the same time <sighs> so i've been running around and working and putting out a video and i missed my premiere again I have this, like, I put an alarm in my phone and sometimes I make it and sometimes I don't. Today was stressful and I didn't make it.
feels like it's finally summer. I've been in the sun a bunch and hopefully this afternoon I'm gonna go and swim in a lake somewhere. I'm gonna go for a swim somewhere. I spent a bit of today running around town to do some research and ask people about glass because my windscreens both have cracks on them and it's gonna be an expensive expensive repair the first shop only orders pre like curved windscreens second shop actually cuts glass and was able to find the windscreen numbers on the glass still wondering whether the trim that goes around the glass whether that will be something that has to be special ordered or whether I have to go hunting for that you know odd vehicles nothing's ever simple straightforward oh just order this part and away you go no they'll give me a call probably Monday to tell me what the state is with the windscreen <sighs> it's gonna be probably like 1500 bucks if not more is my guess <laughs> oh well because I forgot my weight belt so I'm using the chain to pull myself down
We don't have a name for the van yet. You don't? I don't have a name for the van yet. These vans have names. That's it, Robert. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> Do you want to show us your van? What is it, first of all? It's a 1998 Grumman yeah. step van. And how long is it? It's uh, 24 feet long with a four, no, it's 22 feet long with a 14 foot box. Beautiful doors. What are these made of? These are actually made of teak and uh, uh, fake teak, sort of. I have a, a wardrobe in here. It's all my clothes. And then... Uh, That's beautiful. Look at this wood. I have some clothes this down here. This so I can't remember what this is called. Acacia? No, it's uh, some kind of a pearl wood. Pearl something. Okay. Uh, and and this my, side? my couch is here. Yeah. And then we got some more cabinet doors for uh, Leanne stuff. Nice. And these are all bookmarked. Uh, so if you oh, take yeah. the lids, they, they, they fold in on yes. each other. So they're book, they're beautiful. book faced. More clothes for Layla. Have our sink, which we have a really deep sink. Nice. So let's just hold some stuff right now. My stove is sitting down here right now. This cabinet is, this top was supposed to be cut so I can lift it up yeah. and, uh, and then use it. But right now I just pull it out, put it on top and yeah. it works. And then we have nice. pots, and, pots and pans down here. We'll be getting some drawers in there. Oh, that'll be amazing. And you got a full size fridge in here. We got a full size fridge and then we have another cabinet up top. But a uh, full size fridge. Now, so, this is the piece, piece de resistance. The piece de resistance. Uh, uh, so, first of all, we have a, 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 a table that just hooks up here. That's super handy. But then uh, at nighttime, when we want to go to bed, we take this off. Yeah. This comes down. It's down. What? Look at this giant bed. Yeah. It's huge. And oh, then that's... inside, I made a little table for Layla so we can put our laptop on and watch uh, oh, that's awesome. TVs and stuff. That's so cool. Perfect. Oh, how lovely is that? And then now it... we have room for activities. Room for activities and it just falls. Oh, right, it's a practical. And then there's a spare bed, couch seat, and it goes underneath. So it's like a quarter berth from a boat. Yep. And then I've got my bed on pulleys so you can level it. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, this gives me parts of the Caribbean vibes. Like, I love it <laughs> yes! in a good way. Yes, in a good way. This is amazing. I yeah. love this. It's so well, she's a, pir a pirate ship. <laughs> <laughs> this is so cute. And you got a wood fireplace. Yeah. Yeah. It's warm in here. That's good. Mm -hmm. She's got a very nice size stove, too. Oh, yeah. And a full size stove and oven. That's nuts. That's nuts. You know, the thing that I really like the most about this is just the fact that like it's got his own personal touch to it. Mm -hmm. you know, that's the hardest part I find for the van for me is making it like homey. You know, like see how she has like things like yeah. this. And yeah, mine's not that. mine's not homey. Yeah. Where'd you get that? I want Which, one of those. This, this? Oh, where you put the spices in. That's a smart idea. The thrift store. The thrift store? Yeah. I need oh, to Oh, this, 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 this. The one in the back corner, like all of the little boxes that I have, are yep. everything's from thrift stores. Oh, I see. Yep. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do, honestly. Neat. Thank you for showing me this. You're welcome. Yeah, this is, this is awesome. Amazing. I wish that I oh, could. That's a good Don't fall, you high. Yeah. <laughs> you want to see him die? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Maybe you will be popular with me. <laughs> It's beautiful. We need the wind to change the direction, I think. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> oh,
I just woke up. I just woke up in my beautiful yellow sheets. <laughs> Let me show you where I am. I don't often camp in city or urban areas, but I came in yesterday because I wanted to see some friends and so I went into the city and at the end of the evening I came back out and I came here because sometimes it's just way easier to park in a quiet safe space like this when you're in an, a more open environment. we would talk about box trucks and step vans. Why we chose box trucks and step vans instead of your sprinter vans, old school camper vans, or any other kind of RV. I think I chose this particular one because it was empty and had a clean slate. Um, RVs have a lot of stuff already in it and cupboards specifically where they are and most people go in and gut it out anyways which just seemed to like a lot of work the other reason I picked this was because it was a solid box there was no holes in it aka no windows there was only one roof vent which I put in another roof vent but that's you can't see it from the ground right so this is super stealthy mm. and a lot of people comment yo you should add a window no, I have zero intentions of adding a window. And the reason I bought a step van is for a couple of reasons. I wanted a newer engine, and the only way I was gonna get a newer engine was buying something that wasn't perceived as a camper van. An RV, or a van, or a, or a, like a Sprinter, or a Dodge, like all of those things to get a newer engine is so expensive. Yeah. So I have a 1999, and I wouldn't have got the engine that I have if I had tried to buy something that was perceived to be a camper. And I bought a step van because it's made of aluminium. And I am so done with things that rust. <laughs> Smart. That's, that's very true. So done. Yeah. And I wanted something that had straight walls with no curve in them. Right. So with those three criteria, newer engine, straight walls, <laughs> no rust, basically a box truck or a step van were my only options. So what this, year is this van? This is a 96 and it only cost me $5,000 to buy it. And then whatever I did on the inside, like the solar yeah. panels and, and I bought fancy flooring, which I didn't need to do, but <laughs> I did. <laughs> when, when you're excited about van builds, you do buy some silly stuff. <laughs> so I Expensive flooring, which is why there's no flooring in my current van yet. Because I I'm like, I'm gonna buy something simple. My, my billet. Home hardware, the first time I went was $800 and it was like flooring and like a bunch of stuff I didn't honestly need. <laughs> but I was so excited. Yeah, and also I paid $9,000 for mine, just under $10,000 for my van. Um, Your van has a bit more bells and whistles, I think, than mine does. Yeah. Though. Like mine is super basic. And it, ca well, it came with the build, so I got the sink, the oven, yeah. the fan. Yeah, there you go. The wood, the wiring. Yeah. So I got a bunch of stuff in addition that I right. would have had to buy anyway. Welcome to real van life with things I lived in. <laughs> it's not a show are. home. It's not a weekend getaway because some people think they do van life and they only use it on the weekends. That's road tripping. Yeah. Or camping. Van life is 
to me full time. Full time. The electrical is in that cabinet over there. Just there. That's kind of the important one. Um, just on the other side of that is my washroom. So it is all of my, like it has my canister toilet and it has like the normal shower rack that you would have um, with all of my sort of medicines and yeah anything that goes for your hair is over there i also have my diesel heater tank and my water uh diesel also heater. kind of behind that a lot of storage um there used to be a full kitchen set here so this is what holds all of my dishes my spices i brought a ton of glassware with me i had probably <laughs> three different sets of kitchen <laughs> like plates, bowls, and yeah, and and nobody everything. needs that. You know nobody mean? needs that. I'm only one person. Underneath what? this, I've got a fridge that runs on 12 volt. I got it from a nice gentleman out of a Westphalia van, and he used it in his. That's pretty neat. First home that he built himself. What? And so it is like super efficient for your battery system. It's very efficient and it's very like, it's had a really cool story. So I kind of like that it just yeah. keeps going kind of fun from one person to the next. And one cool van to yeah, another one cool, cool van. van to the next, right. Step throughs are freaking important and amazing. I think they're super this important security, if you're a single one person. Yeah, this security to it, you can get in and out without leaving the vehicle if you feel in danger. And hopefully you never do, but also if it rains, it's much nicer. Yeah. Huzzah! There you go. That was a tour of Sam's van. And why we think our rigs are great and why we prefer step vans and box trucks over a traditional van or RV. No sprinter crew over here. Sorry, folks. Sorry. We Sorry. No hate if you have one. Love it, that's amazing. We've just made different choices because we have different needs. And we're creative and we want to express those needs in our own way. And have <clears throat> been willing to learn the skills to make our own homes and put up with our mistakes. Yeah. As we learn. <laughs> <laughs> that's the important bit. Super important. Thank you for watching. Bye. Oh my gosh. It's what, 30 something degrees Celsius out there and I'm sweating bullets You're gonna fall off the bed! <laughs> it is installed! And I just had the best idea. If I put Velcro at the back and on the back of these they'll stay stuck in so I'm just gonna see if I have my velcro with me or not velcro let's do it oh, I found this a while ago and it's about time I mounted it you're out of sight in a minute which is really annoying because I need your help. And then you can like, shut a little padlock. But it will probably stay because it clicks. everybody and thank you so much for watching this week's video it was exciting to bring you something a little bit different fan life at its finest I am really grateful that I'm able to live in my van and still make new connections still have community still meet friends still adventure around 
and do it either by myself or with other people as I choose. And part of the journey of getting there is building the van, getting it certified, taking time out to tend my mental health and sometimes it's stressful and sometimes it's so fun. So I hope this was a true reflection of the roller coasters of ups and downs, the frustrating bits and the exciting fun bits, um, some solitude and some community. And I hope you find those things for yourselves and I encourage you to step outside your comfort zone, meet new people, try new things. Um, you can choose to be alone and you can choose to be with people or you can choose, like me, to do a little bit of both. I'm a pretty big introvert so it's really nice to choose when to make connections with other people to come on here and say hello to you and then spend the next few weeks kind of hermiting away and getting things done slowly and being creative. It really feeds my soul. Thank you so much for watching. If you really enjoyed this video, please give it a big th thumbs up. It really helps the channel and hit the subscribe button. The notification bell will let you know when I post new videos. At the moment I'm posting every Wednesday and I really enjoy the schedule. It's really fun coming to chat with all of you each week or see your comments in the comment section. So if you have any thoughts, tips or questions, I'm probably going to do a Q&A at some time soon. So put some questions in the comments field below. Thank you so much for coming along with me. Your support means the world to me. And a huge thank you to all my Patreons who truly are helping me continue making this channel possible. <sighs> thank you so much. See you next week. Bye.